Ahoy there! So it's uh, Jen's birthday today. We're down here walking the docks in Kodiak. Beautiful day. And we got a little bit of news for you. So we've been reviewing our videos over the last year. We should have 26 and let's just say we don't have 26. We're actually gonna take on some staff to try to increase our productivity. Okay, so how are we gonna add staff when we're not making any money? Easy. Here in Alaska, it's the Alaska way. All these boats, half of them have their kids working on the boat. And the Alaska employment laws are actually pretty favorable towards, you know, basically exploiting your children. We're gonna add this as a homeschool experience for Morgan. Because you gotta remember, we were a homeschool family before homeschooling was cool, pre-COVID. So, and even when COVID goes away, we'll still be a homeschool family. So I'm looking at this as an opportunity, not only to up our game on the videos, but it's good training for Morgan. Um, we do almost all of our editing on Apple products. We've got iPhone, um, iPad, and a MacBook Pro. And then the program that we use, we started with Adobe Premiere. We shifted over to Final Cut Pro. And so we're all Apple, but bottom line, and I'm not saying Apple's any better than Android and all that other stuff. It's just, it's what we have. And, but this will help Morgan be fluent, not only in the regular IBM Windows based stuff, but also the Mac stuff. And let's face it, in this world, it's good to know it all. Actually, I suspect this video that you're watching is going to be a Morgan's first video for publication. So, you know, let us know in the comments what you think. And remember, you're talking to a 12 year old, so, you know, but don't hold back on constructive criticism either, because at the end of the day, let's try to do everything we can, the best that we can, and we're probably gonna do it the hard way, because we don't know any other way. Hey, as long as we're down here, I'm gonna show you some neat stuff. This boat here, I can't really pronounce that name, but there's a couple cool things about this. This is a tender. Hey, let's come over here, I'll tell you some stuff. Tsunami alarm, go figure. Oh, and there's, there's some of my buddies up there in a Coast Guard HH-65 Dolphin. Seriously? All right, we'll be right back. So this boat, I can't really pronounce the name, but it's a pretty cool boat. This is a tender. Now what these do is, while the guys on these saners and such are out fishing, making money, these tenders take the fish that they're selling, sometimes they'll swap it out for ice, and then they'll run it back over here to the canneries. Now this boat in particular is neat because up here is steel. Down there you can see his wood planking. This is actually a wood boat that's got steel overlay on top. Um, some other neat features on this particular boat. If you look over here, see that big hydro chiller up there? That's called RSW, refrigerated seawater. The holds in this thing, here I'll, I'll show you the holds. See the holds in this thing, pretty big. And of course, we've got big picking booms up here. The picking booms are for loading and unloading. The RSW, refrigerated seawater system, keeps these holds cold to run the fish from saners like these guys here. That's a saner, but he doesn't have his net on there right now. He's got a crab pot. That's for uh, dungeon crab. So that guy runs the fish for those guys. Boy, I tell you, it's really hard to find an unattractive view in Kodiak when the sun's out. Dutch Harbor Crabber right there. Uh, for those of you that watch Deadliest Catch and shows like that, well, that's the kind of boats they are. We gather some footage for Morgan. We got these, the ravens are just going nuts today. We're having a very Edgar Allan Poe kind of day. So this boat here used to be called the Liberty and uh, we almost bought this from some friends of ours, the Hanses. However, it had a little bit more moisture concerns than we were prepared to deal with. So, uh, now it belongs to one of our coworkers. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad he's getting some enjoyment out of it. He works a very different work schedule than I do, and uh, let's just say he's got a little more time off. So this is a glass ply. I haven't seen this boat here before. Gotta show you this one just because, uh, well, Glass plies are really built for the heavy waters of Alaska. You got a lot of things going for them. Really heavy fiberglass. I don't know if you can see, we got some pretty, 
some pretty good tumble home below the gunnel here. What the tumble home is, the tumble home is the that arched area below the gunnel, and then this is the gunnel right here. The gunnel is kind of where the boats are put together. If we took off this rubber rail, which is what that's called, right under there is the main seam of the boat. Obviously, it's been here a little while because it's got some Christmas lights on it. I really like how the helm is in the center of the boat. This is laid out very similarly to a Coast Guard 41 footer, actually. It's got quite a beam to her, which means it's wide. We're gonna probably cut this part out, but boats and women are the same. Just because it's a little wide in the back doesn't mean it doesn't look good. I'm almost cheating for Morgan's uh, material for her first video. I'll take some pictures of the film and see. Maybe I'll even ask her to commentate why this boat is historically significant. And here's our uh, rustic launch ramp. Anyhow. Be curious to see if this works out and uh again let us know in the comments is hiring our own kid a good idea or is it the worst idea ever anyhow y'all take care and i hope you have a happy new year <laughs>